Morgus Presents is brought to you by Cox Communications, connecting you for 25 years. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll just put this here. Oh, hello, my dear disciples of science, <laughs> students, and those of the higher order. <laughs> I know you're watching. First of all, I, I'm completely overwhelmed by your continuing uh, letters of support and admiration. <laughs> if this continues, as it no doubt will, the old city ice house here will no doubt one day be a scientific shrine. <laughs> of course, to show you my, my deep appreciation tonight, tonight I am going to reveal to you a crowning scientific achievement that will reward every one of you for years to come. This exciting experiment is the culmination of my thesis entitled, The Prospect of Immortality. <laughs> yes, immortality, the idea of living an endless life. <laughs> and no greater gift, no greater gift could science give to mankind. But, 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 who, who is that scientific genius that will step forward with the breakthrough that will lead us to the prospect of immortality. <laughs> In one minute, someone you know will raise his hand. <laughs> Pull it all the way off, all the way off. I want him to see the whole thing. <laughs> all right. Oh, there they are. <laughs> As my hand, take a picture of that. <laughs> you see, my dear followers, I have been working for the last seven years on a machine that will extend life indefinitely. It's affectionately called, for the want of another name, the Morguso Perpetual Life Machine, <laughs> designed to give endless life to the human body. Now, of course, I don't know anyone who wouldn't give their life to live forever. Well, well you know what I mean. <laughs> the point is, no one else has ever raised money to help fight the greatest killer of all, death. <laughs> That's right. And I, Morgus, am going to start a fund after tonight's experiment to eradicate this everlasting disease, death. <laughs> Do you realize death strikes a hundred people out of a hundred people? <laughs> well, we're going to fight it. And we're going to fight it tonight, my friends. Out of the way, Chopsley, I've got to get to the sign over here. You idiot, you were supposed to have this pulled down. All right. Okay, hold, hold it down. You see, you didn't even test it. Now I look like a fool in front of everybody. Okay, get a shot of this, fellas. Here is the machine. As you can see, we have various tubes coming out. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of uh, esoteric language and all that kind of buffoonious stuff here. I want everybody at every level to understand what's going on here. We are actually going to connect organs of the human body into the machine. Now you've read about things like this, but of course I'm so far ahead of these guys that they are going to be bugged out tonight. <laughs> we are going to supplant and increase and completely, uh, how would you place it, uh, we are going to revitalize the major organs of the body. The heart, the liver, and the kidney. Those are the three major organs. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of theory right now because there are other important things. As a matter of fact, uh, Chopsley, yes. <laughs> Come here, Chopsley. Oh, my boy, Chopsley, you know, there's my right arm. You know, Chopsley, remember I told you one day I'd make you famous? <laughs> Tonight's your big night, Chopsley. Yes, sir, tonight's your big night. Why, I can, I can see your name, Chopsley, right up there next to mine on the cover of Time and World Science Magazine. <laughs> Morgus connects Chopsley to the perpetual life machine. <laughs> there it is, Chopsley. What do you mean? Oh, come on, Chopsley, I'm just going to connect a few hoses into your body and connect to two or three organs. That's, oh, I know, he's worried about the last time I worked on him. Look, this time, Chopsley. Chopsley, you're going to live longer than me. <laughs> you're going to outlive me if I connect you. Can't you see that? Why, you'll be just like Eric. <laughs> I mean, you'll live a long time. Isn't that right, Eric? <laughs> Eric, you heard me? Eric. Yes, master. Oh, boy. Listen, Eric, when I throw you a cue, you pick it up. You understand? Oh, boy. One thing I can't stand is insubordination. Do you understand that, Eric? 
Yes, Master. All right, stay on the ball here. We've got things to do. All right, you get ready for surgery. <laughs> oh, can't let the troops relax. <laughs> you know, I always say, uh, the troops relax, the enemy attacks. <laughs> you bosses know what I mean. Oh, yeah, speaking of bosses, uh, those guys down at the station, uh, they kind of run things, you know, they could cut me off like that. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. All right, now look, this is a man of science we're dealing with here. Now, don't you mess me up. Oh, uh, hi, friends. <laughs> Dr. Belch is outside, and uh, we're going to let him in right now. And, of course, I have to do this little, uh, this little PA trick again. Chelsea, stand back. Uh. Paging Dr. Belcher. Dr. Morgus will see you now. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Open the door, Charles. Open it. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Are you Dr. Morgus? No, no, no. I, I'm Dr. Morgus. <laughs> oh, Dr. Morgus. It's a great pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. Well, Dr. Belcher, it's so nice of you to come so far. <laughs> oh, I want you to meet my assistant, Chopsley, here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a great pleasure to make your acquaintance too. Oh, oh, oh uh, he doesn't talk. Uh, I did a little face surgery on him a short while ago, and of course, uh, it hadn't healed yet, so... Thirty years ago. Quiet, Eric. What was that? Oh, uh, oh, no, my neighbor upstairs always turning the TV on. Uh, anyway, Doctor, step over here. I want to see... I want you to see what this is all about. Why, this is very good, very good, very, very splendid. Ach, mein Gott im Himmel. Ach, du lieber. <laughs> it is good, man. <laughs> that is wunderbar. Of course, uh, this is only the first model. You realize the next one will be the size of a briefcase and strapped to your back. <laughs> ah, here, doctor. If this machine is half as good as you tell me that it is, it will be the greatest advance in longevity research in the world. <laughs> you must give me a demonstration. Oh, a demonstration? Oh, yes, as a matter of fact, we were just about to hook it up to my assistant, Chopsley. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yes, uh, Ch uh, Oh, you know, I really like you, Belcher. <laughs> I really do. You know, what a fine fellow. You know, uh, I will let you share in this great discovery. Oh, that's nice. I tell you what I'm going to do, Belcher. You know what? I think I will do this. I think, <laughs> you know, I think I will let you be the owner of the world's first perpetual life machine. <laughs> Prepare for surgery. John. You, you, you mean me? You, you mean I? Yes. Prepare for surgery, Charlie. Look, uh, it'll, it'll, it won't hurt. But I just came in to take some notes for the board of directors. Oh, the board of directors? Oh, well, uh... We'll hook up the machine to you. That's it. You can take it with you when you go back to the board of directors. Oh, this will be great. This will be great. Just lie down there, doctor. Trust me. Trust me. You won't feel a thing. I just want to hear your heartbeat. I'm going to get it down to about four beats a minute and plug up a couple of things. You just stay right there. Now, what we're going to do, doctors, uh, get the needle ready, Chuff. <clears throat> what we have to do here, of course, is see if his heartbeat is regular at 58 beats a minute. <laughs> 58 beats a minute. That's about right. Now, give it a shot. Now, Doc, th th this won't hurt. You won't feel a thing. All right, gentlemen, what we're going to do is put a little solution in here that radically reduces the heartbeat. It'll take it down from 58, 58 down to uh, 4 beats a minute. It's a little secret formula I have. Now, this won't hurt, Doc. Just, just, just stand still. I'm going to push it in here. All right, here we go. <laughs> don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry, hang on, hang on, hang on, okay, oh dear, okay, good. Get, get the needle out, oh, okay, all right, now we got it, uh, where's, where's my, uh... all right, doctors, stand by, I want you to listen to this, you fellows down to the station, get a close-up of this, I want to hear this, down to four, oh. let's take a break, then the master returns. We as Navi want to congratulate Cox Communications on their 25th anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's down to about 22 beats. Oh, hi, friends. Well, we're working on Belcher here. 
We got his heartbeat down to 22 beats a minute. So we're just about ready to start the operation to make the large incision into the heart section below the, below the rib cage here and connect, of course, the, the heart tube which runs to the perpetual life machine. Now, Chowsley, you're going to play, <laughs> you know, I promised you'd play a big part in this, okay? Here's your chance. Get this off of him, Chowsley. I told you to get the tie off. Okay, get that away. Oh, Chowsley, I told you to get the shirt off. All right. I got to make a little mark here now. We just square off where the incision is going to go here, Chowsley. And we're going to have to shave right in there. Now, let's get the shave cream. <laughs> All right, Chosley, you're going to put the shave cream right in here while I, I get the scrub gear on. Okay, now, doctors, I want you to know that uh, we... No, no, you idiot, what are you... Oh, goodness, here, give me this. Haven't you ever shaved before? <laughs> of course not. All right, get those balloons out of my drawer over there. I got to show you a little trick here. We're going to take the razor. The only way to learn how to shave, Chosley, is to learn with a balloon. The idea is not to pop the balloon, you understand? <laughs> uh, the old boy has a lot of air. All right, take the, uh, take the, the uh, soap there, Chosley. Take the razor. Okay. Now pour the soap right on here like that. Ah, the boy. There you go. Okay, that's, that's enough. That's enough. Now, the idea is just to take the soap off without popping the balloon. Go ahead. <laughs> you idiot. Of course you don't jam it in there. Oh, let me show you. Oh, look at this. Okay. Uh, hang in there, folks, please. Uh, I got to take a break. All right, give me the stuff. Pour it on here. Now, look, the idea is to hold your finger up. That way, go right here on the top. Right on the top. All right. Put a lot on there. Oh, right, that's, that's good. That's good. Now, the idea is to hold your finger up. You understand? You take your finger. <laughs> All right, Eric, you wise guy. Well, anyway, you know what to do, Chops. Say, look, the idea is to take this and just... Shave in that little box while I get the incisal skin divider there. Okay. Take your time. All right, here we go. Here we go now. Okay, Chopsley. Oh, good job. Good job. Hey, my boy catches on. All right, plug this in when I tell you. All right, doctor, stand by. You're going to really jump at this. Uh, this is the, the stuff of the future, of course. You know, I usually try to keep ahead of you guys. This is called the Morgusso Incisal Skin Divider <laughs> for surgeons with shaky hands. No longer do you have to use a scalpel. You just set this little bugger for the size incision you want, turn it on, and it does all the rest. Now, look, stand by. All right. I'm going to set this for a four-inch incision over the heart cage there. All right, chop slave, baby, get ready. Here, here we go, four inches. Go! Wait, wait! Cut it off! 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 In one moment, the experiment will continue. my next experiment Friday night 1030 on Cox 10. <laughs>surgical pencil Are you just about ready <laughs> okay a little signature here M A M <laughs> oh hi friends <laughs> well I just uh, I just signed a little something here on his rib I better remove this mask I don't want to frighten some of the kids <laughs> Well, we, uh, we did a little something here. I think every artist, uh, especially medical, medical people, should 
put their name or some kind of tag inside the patient. Oh, thank you, Chopsley. You know, with all these malpractice suits going on, it's good to put your initials in there somewhere. Now, we're going to take some of the blood away. Uh, oh, by the way, don't show too much of this blood here uh, on television. It, it might uh, upset some people. Uh, Chopsley, get ready for the, for the rib spreading. Hand me the rib spreader. We're going to have to open up the rib cage and, of course, get into the subclavian artery here. Okay. All right. Oh, Chopsley, I, 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 I forgot to put the gloves on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We're, we're... It's all right. He's been uh, sedated, and we've got a lot of uh, antibiotics in him. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Chopsley. We have a very strong solution here. All right, you've got to be very sterile. Okay, get the cocos ready, Chopsley. Ready for the... Co hurry, hurry, man. We've got to go. Okay, that'll do it. Now, we're going to tighten off this nerve here. All right, hold that, Chopsley. Now, hand me the... Uh, the ribs, oh, no, 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 the cutters, the cutters, hurry. Oh, the coca, oh, the Alice clamps, the Alice clamps, that's it. Oh, you should know this by now. All right, we got the Alice clamps. Now we're getting down into the costochondral junction here. Oh, I got my fingers on it, I got my fingers on it. Okay, I want to cut that little vein there. Hand me that. Oh, not that, well, I'll use that. I'll break it off. Okay, that'll slow it down. Now we're slowing the heartbeat down. Now, you doctors, <laughs> I got a little news for you. You know, an automobile mechanic would not work on a, an automobile engine while it's running at full speed. And I know you've been wondering, well, why is this guy cutting down the heartbeat to four beats a minute? <laughs> well, when we connect the perpetual life machine to Dr. Belcher here, we want this thing to work permanently. We have a certain amount of seconds in which to hook up the various tubes into his heart cage. And by the way, you just get ready for that. As a matter of fact, when I cut this, we'll have 15 seconds in which to cut the artery and hook up this hose. Watch out. Right here, right here. This is the one that goes to the heart valve, okay? And that'll put the, that'll put the blood right in there. Okay, you hold on to this. Now, okay, in 50, oh, here, that's good. I'm going to cut that. Now, friends, as I said before, 15 seconds. You hold on to that, and look, you just turn that when, I, when we get to the 15th second. Okay, here we go, in 15 seconds. Uh, when I cut it, we'll have 15 seconds for me to grab this and plug that in. Uh-oh. I put a mainspring in the darn thing yesterday. All right, you know how to count one, two, or uh, seconds. Or a second is like this. One, two, three. Count up to 15 and then throw that. You ready? All right, give me. I'm going to, oh, here it is. I'm going to cut it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, what, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, no, Chopsley, no, stop it. Give it, cut it off, cut the thing off. Oh. And now, a brief pause. Then Morgus and Chopsley return. No, downstairs. Downstairs. No, no, no. Let them go downstairs and take all their pictures when this baby gets out on the street. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. Well, we've got the national press. <laughs> I told you, I warned you, Chopsley. And now you didn't get in on it. Belcher's name is going to be in the headlines. Well, I know you doctors are excited, knowing the prospect of immortality is at hand here. The idea of connecting the vital organs to a machine, the, the heart, the liver, and, of course, the kidneys. Stand by for a, another surprise. <laughs> I got a little something here that's going to be on the market very soon. It's called the Morguso Skin Glue. I have a few little intrusions here on the flesh, and all you have to do is put on the skin. Chopsley, hold, 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 hold the cut together. As you push the skin tight together, and don't get your hands on this stuff. All right, this skin glue hardens very quickly. It looks just like flesh, and you can take it off in a few weeks. But you've got to get it off right away. <laughs> Otherwise, you can uh, get yourself in real trouble. Now, what's your pro? Don't tell me you stuck your hand to the man. Oh, Chopsley. Wait, a little surgery. It won't hurt. It won't hurt. Oh, how stupid putting your hands inside of people. All right. Oh, that's okay. All right, let's get him up. Wake him up, Chopsley. Get him on up. Belcher? Wake up, Belcher. <laughs> He's all right. Put a little smelling sauce on him. Hurry, Chopsley. Get it right on him. Okay. <coughs> t -t -t turn, turn the wheel. <laughs> okay. Now all we got to do is get him to, uh, 
to wake up. For, he'll be, he's coming too. Belcher, do you feel a little... I feel fine. Wonderful. Very fine. good. All yeah. right, so you're going to slide off here. Just stand up. You'll be a little weak. That's all right. All right, that's good. Stand up. <laughs> this way. Oh, do I have a try? <laughs> Come over here, my boy. Now I'm going to show you your new companion. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, of course, Doc. Now we're going to get your... We're going to get your coat on. Shoffley, bring it over here. Now you just hold the tube there, Doc. Give me, a, give me your arm. Slip it in here. Okay, Shoffley, you know what to do. Now, Doc, put your coat on. Relax here just a second. Relax for a second. Let me turn on a few things. All right. Shoffley, <laughs> we're just about ready. Well. Well, I have one question. One question. How do I get around in this thing? How do you get around? Yes. <laughs> oh, Chopsley, you know the cue. Uh, I'll show you in a minute, Doc. All we do is turn on a few switches. Let's see. Where is, oh, here's one here. Light goes on. Uh, put the little wheels up. <laughs> Bring it in, Chopsley. <laughs> okay, Doc, just move back a little bit. Got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Look what we have here, Dr. Belcher. Put your leg across here. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, oh. what do you think of this? This is the greatest thrill of my life. I, I would be able to live a hundred, two hundred years. Just wait till my colleagues hear about this. What can I do, ever do, to thank you here, Dad, here, Doctor? Well, I'll tell you what you can do. You can show up at the medical show next week. <laughs> Chosley, show him how to run this thing. Take him down the freight elevator right away, okay? All right, there he goes. <laughs> okay, be careful. <laughs> Come back in a few minutes, Chosley, after he learns. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I can see right now. We have a big celebration, my friends. Let's just call it a little, uh, a little libation here. <laughs> I usually mix up something like this when I want to celebrate. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is pour a toast to those idiots who fail. <laughs> I would like to propose a toast to those who fail. You see, failure is just the first step. <laughs> to success. I drink to that. <laughs> what was that? Oh no. It can't be. Chosley? Chosley? Oh no. Can't be Chosley. No. 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 My machine. That, that idiot Chopsley, the press is there, they're taking pictures, television, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, 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 no. Tune in again next week at the same time when Morgus the Magnificent takes us into the realm of science. Sense was brought to you by Cox Communications, connecting you for 25 years. Woo!